Would you like to know the biggest mistake I've ever made in business? Well, I'm going to share that with you today. My name is Eric F. King, and many years ago, while I was living in Atlanta, Georgia, I was practicing law up there, I had an opportunity to go to this big event in California, a business seminar. And I was talking to one of my friends at the law firm, and he advised me not to go. He told me that it would be a waste of time and a waste of money. And he told me that he's been to events like that before. So I decided not to go. Now, I have a lot of respect for him because he's a very smart guy, but he didn't have a business. But I listened to him anyway because I had a lot of respect for him. I found out that I really missed a lot by not going to that event. And some of my friends that actually went, they came back with a lot more information than I had, and they ended up building a bigger business than me. So fast forward many, many years later, an opportunity to go to another event. And here I heard from a man by the name of Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is the founder of ClickFunnels. Okay, he built this company from, from nothing to hundreds of millions of dollars. But more importantly, he has helped a lot of people uh, make you know six, seven, and eight figures from the comfort of their home. Okay, so he's a marketing genius. And he talked about a concept, a strategy called value stacking. Value stacking is when you have an offer and you present it to your prospects, but then you tell them that you have more information that you can give them, you know, for free, but I'm the only paying that payment for that one offer. Okay. So I'll give you an example. I had a mini course. I was selling it for $500. And when I presented my webinar, I said, okay, I'm going to give you this course, this mini course for $500, but I'm also going to give you a cheat sheet on how to become more productive in your business. Okay. So that was bonus number one, the cheat sheet. Then I also gave them an ebook that I wrote on marketing. So now for bonus number two, you get an ebook. But then I also gave them another course, a course that I purchased. I got the, the rights to, the license to sell it. But instead of selling it, I just added it to the value stack. So now they get my course, they get the cheat sheet, they get the ebook, then they get the second course, all for $500. So obviously that's a great value. Right. So there were a lot of takers. A lot of people were interested. They clicked on the link. They got the course. What Russell Bronson talked about worked. Now, this, the next day, I got a message from a guy who was on the call the night before. And he said to me, he said that he was highly disappointed in me because of how I, I presented uh, my offer the night before. He said, it sounds like it sounds sleazy or it sounds like an infomercial when you keep adding things to the offer, trying to convince people to buy. He said, what I should have done was just given the offer, the course for $500 and that's it instead of going into all that, those other stuff. So typically I don't listen to critics, right? Because who cares what critics say, right? But in this case, I was a little curious about a few things. So I reached out to him and I asked him, Hey, Theo, thanks for your feedback. I said, uh, I'm curious, what do you do for a, for a living? And he said that he is a manager at the local Applebee's, which is a, a restaurant. I said, okay. I said, so do you own a business? And he said, yeah. He said, I have a small, you know, affiliate marketing business. I said, okay, great. I said, so how are you doing with the business? You know, are you, are you making the kind of money that you want to make with the business? And he said, well, not really. He said he's making about $500 a month and he's trying to get it up to a thousand. I said, great. So now I am faced with the dilemma of who to listen to about marketing and sales for my business. I can either listen to Russell Brunson, a guy that has created many millionaires, or I can listen to Theo, the manager at Applebee's who makes less than 10,000 a year in his business. 
Hmm. This is a tough one. Now, obviously, I'm being funny here, right? Because it's a no-brainer, right? It's a no-brainer. Who do you listen to? But here's the problem. A lot of business owners, you know, just like I did, listen to the wrong people. Some entrepreneurs would have just scrapped the whole value stack because of a critic. So here's the deal. Here's the rule of thumb. If you're faced with a decision and your so-called advisor is giving you advice, this is what you ask yourself. Does he or she have what you're looking for? Have they accomplished what you want to accomplish? Do they have what you want? If they don't, then their advice means nothing. I'm sorry to be that blunt, but it really means nothing. And you should discard it. If they don't have what you want, why do you care what they think? That's my advice to you today. If you love this video and you love this message, share it with as many people as you possibly can. Uh, like uh, our uh, information, share our videos, pay it forward. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make it a great day.